We're gonna multiply binomials. I'm only gonna do the box method in this first video. To multiply two binomials, you're gonna make a box with four squares. So for the first one, I'm gonna make a box with four squares. And then across the top of each box, put each term of one of the binomials above each square. So I'm gonna put three X and plus four. And then along the left side of the box, put each term of the second binomial next to one square. So I have X, that's my first one. And then my second is minus five. And then you're gonna find the area that represents each square of the box and put the value inside the squares. This first box, the length would be three X, the width would be X. And when I multiply those to find the area, I get three X squared. My next box, the length is four, the width is X. So the area of this box, you multiply four and X together you'll get 4x. The box below on the left, I have a length of 3x, a width of negative 5. When I multiply those, I get negative 15x. And my last box has a length of 4 and a width of negative 5. When I multiply those, I get negative 20. One mistake I see a lot of people do is on that last box, they aren't paying attention and they add those. Make sure you multiply, you're finding the area of each box. And now once you have the areas of all the boxes, you're gonna combine any like terms. So now you will add like stuff together. There are no other square terms, so that's gonna be three X squared. These two are like, Negative 15x plus 4x gives me negative 11x. And then I have minus 20 for my last box. Second example. I have my first binomial. I'm going to write it across the top, so write each term above a square. And then on the left side, going down, I'm gonna put my other two terms. So I have X and minus two. That came from my second binomial. And then you'll find the area of each square. The first square, or rectangle, this has X times X, so that's X squared. On the next one, I have eight times X. So the length is eight with this X. And then on the next one, this will be negative two X. Length is X, width is negative two. And on this last one, that's negative 16. This becomes X squared. Combine your like terms. So that's gonna be plus six X, eight X minus two X then minus 16. And that is your box method.